Marikana may be considered, to use a popular concept on social media circles and in academia, to be a black swan moment. This concept is derived from the book of the same name authored by the Lebanese-American academic Nassim Nicholas Talib. Black swan events have a major impact, but they are difficult to predict. In hindsight, however, they appear perfectly predictable. With a higher resolution lens to zoom in on our own black swan moment, Marikana would not have been so unexpected before the event if decision makers and forecasters had adopted a broader perspective to public policy. The probability of this black swan moment, as we can now see in retrospect, was in fact very, very high. As I still reflect on those terrible days in early spring, I can see that the black swan concept can also be applied to South Africa's crisis of leadership. You will know that last week, the DA and seven other opposition parties in parliament tabled a motion of no confidence in the president of the republic. The reasons for our motion were clearly defined and they were driven by evidence, but please allow me to restate them. In the first place, a lack of, of empathetic leadership in the dark days under the, after the Marikana tragedy, the unfolding Nkandla Gate scandal to which I have already referred, the failure to deliver textbooks and workbooks to school children in Limpopo and in the Eastern Cape, the downgrading of our country's credit rating by two major ratings agencies, the undermining of the constitution by senior politicians in government, the growing number of people who must face the indignity of unemployment and the spread of corruption in the public service. 